Thank you, President. Commissioner, the name of uh, Sergei Magnitsky is well known to the European Parliament. It was December 2010 when we adopted the annual report on human rights, calling for justice for this courageous Russian lawyer who died fighting corruption. Although former President Dmitry Medvedev promised to cast light to this case, we still haven't seen justice served. Last week, the court hearing in Moscow showed again too little progress. Among 60 individuals implicated in his death, there are just two prison doctors charged with negligence. Nearly three years have passed since the tra tragic death of Sergei Magnitsky in custody after torture and lack of medical aid. The horrific treatment and torture also resembles to the case of Vasily Alexanyan, the another young lawyer of Mikhail Hodorkovsky and Yukos, who died soon after unlawful imprisonment. Instead of facing justice, these people are still in office. They are traveling in the EU. They spend their dirty money in the EU. They buy real estate in the EU. And they educate their children here. This recommendation suggests that the EU member states should stop these practices. Visa bans and asset freezes are concrete reactions to such behaviour and demonstrate the EU's value-based policy. Colleagues, Putin's regime has turned back to the, uh, their, their back to the liberal democratic values and to the rule of law. Corruption has become the name of the governance in Russia. According to Transparency International Index, Russia is together with Nigeria at the bottom of the list. Therefore, it is especially arrogant of Putin to ask for visa liberalization for the holders of so-called blue passports that are used by the representatives of the state administration. Does he really believe that the EU should welcome the masters of corruption? Ladies and gentlemen, just two weeks ago, the monitoring report on Russia's commitments was debated next door at the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. Instead of showing a good will of cooperation and respecting the rules of the Council of Europe, the Russian colleagues were criticizing the organization for the so-called interference into the Russian domestic issues. We also witnessed Russia's threats to stop financing the Council of Europe. And not only the cooperation between the EU and Russia is challenged, but the Russia-NATO dialogue is affected by the similar approach. Russia's recent membership in, in the WTO demonstrates once again that the common rules of the club do not matter. Russia simply takes WTO a la carte. But this, let us be clear, Magnitsky case is more than a tragedy of an individual fighting organized crime. His personal fate reflects the complexity of the transition that Russian society is going through. Degradation of political and institutional life has translated into epic corruption on one hand and the reanimation of the civil society, claiming its constitutional rights from the other. As Russia is on the crossroads with a civil society struggling for the rule of law, we cannot let EU banks accept the fortunes of corrupt individuals stealing from Russian people. Standing from the universality of human rights, issuing resolutions for democracy and the rule of law in Russia, we are obliged to live up to our declarations. Thank you. And, of course, I ask the colleagues to vote tomorrow for this recommendation.